Hello my guys and welcome to another episode. For this episode, I have the Corolla back. If you remember, the struts are bad on it. Uh, the coilovers, I mean, that one on the other side is done. Have the new shocks, it's stuck. It's gonna go back to stock. And I have the new housing with a lot of washers. So that's good. I'm gonna have to break that housing. This is the new one and those are the struts. So I'm gonna jack up the car, I'm gonna start on the bad one, remove it, put new struts, and then I'm gonna deal with the housing because I know it's not gonna be easy, but let's get to it. Now, if you can see, we need to remove one bolt from the bottom. I think it's only this one here and the two other ones on top, the nuts. If you can see on the original suspension, the two nuts that goes on top, the one right there, and the nut on the bottom. That's a 14 millimeter. Same as the inside, that is one in that side and the other one on the other side. Okay, I got everything out. As you can see, I just need to push down on the control arm and get that coilover out. Press down just a little bit so you can remove it from the bottom. Once you remove it from the bottom, you can get it out. Same thing for the installation on the new ones. The new ones are taller because it's the original suspension. Put it on the bottom first, press down, and then put the other one. Okay guys, if you have a cheater bar or something, put it inside that hole right there. And you gotta press really hard on it. I couldn't film it because pretty much I was inside sitting on that bar while I was putting the strut in. And I'm almost bringing it all the way in. I need to push down a little bit more and uh, slide the new shock in place and tight everything up so this is the difficult part if you have somebody pressing on a bar in there it's gonna make your life much much easier the strut is in place now it changed from 14 to 15 millimeter on both sides the other one is on the other side so those are 15 now this is still the 14 is in place it's tight the bottom one is already tied. For the front, same deal. You have to remove those three nuts. I believe they're 12. And you have to remove these two big nuts and bolts. Also, you have to remove the end link. Hopefully, that one is not damaged. I'm going to try to remove it with an Allen key in the middle because if I damage it, I, I don't want to go and get new ones right now. So, these two. The bracket for the speed sensor and the brake line and this nut for the end links. There you go, no problem with an impact. 22. Those two out. Okay, those because they're aftermarket, they're 13, I believe on the stock is 12 or 14. One of those two. But we have a wrench here, 13 millimeter, and just get them out. I have the color out. These ones that were done too on top. And when, at one point I put a lot of grease in it because it was making a lot of noise when he was uh, taking turns. But that's done. I'm gonna put a new one. Okay, guys, we're almost done. Everything is tied in here. Everything is tied up here. Those are 15 millimeter now. And just a quick little tip: put the jack on the bottom to jack up the strut to put the end link. I have a bar in here. I'm just gonna bring it down a little bit, push 
down on it while I'm pushing down I'm putting the end link put the knot get it tight and if you start spinning put the knot line key inside and with the wrench uh, get it tight so this side is done I'm gonna repeat the same process on the other two sides once I finish that we are moving to the oil filter well guys suspension is done Okay guys, I get it out. I was gonna use the rack, put the rack, then the oil filter tool to remove it but it was slipping. I grab this one, I have this tool, I bought it online because it has the little cutout for the little ears on the housing. And I use my stubby. I use the stubby, I didn't, I didn't care, I just uh, start hitting on it and it came loose, really easy. I thought it was gonna give me more trouble, more problems. Thankfully, it came out. That housing gave me a lot of trouble last time. I should've put the impact last time, but I didn't. We got it out. Now for the new housing. I hope it's the right one though. Yeah, there you have it. Uh, my tool, like I said, it has those little cutouts for the little lips or ears, whatever you want to call them, so you have more grip. That saved my day. Now, this is a new one, new O-ring. Uh, customer got this one, so pretty much he's been running uh, this type of filters now, Toyota filters, so. I'm just gonna put that one. Okay guys, so I'll leave it with that in this episode. That's the Corolla. Uh, it, it rides a lot better now. It's night and day. It was so bumpy. It was kind of bumpy and stiff at the same time. Now, it's just like a regular Corolla.